Hey guys, today we have this 2018 Chevy Silverado 1500. It's a two wheel drive. We're going to be replacing the transmission filter and do a drain and fill for the fluid, transmission fluid. All right, let's get started. <laughs> First, we're gonna lift the truck up, of course, and let me show you what kind of transmission filter we'll be using. We'll be using this AC Delco GM OEM, so we need fluid. And this is the filter that we have. And when you look underneath, here is the transmission pan. But look here, it doesn't have any drain plug, so that means we have to drain it, unbolt it, and drain it slowly. And if, for looking at it, as you can see, it looks like there's a space here from the exhaust. You think you might have enough room to remove it, but what we gotta do. I'm gonna go ahead try to bring that down just a little bit down here so I'm gonna make space I'm gonna pull this down just a tad bit the um, exhaust so it will go down so we got more room here so first I'm gonna get a, uh, a strap a strap to get this down and once I get it to find a strap all quick. right so I'm gonna do um, do mine a little bit different from the others. S some people put a block here, a two by four, and strap that with this muffler and to bring it down. See the gap here? The purpose of it is to get a little bit more gap from here. So you're bringing this exhaust a little bit lower from the pan. So as long as you have a ratchet and strap. So I have one here set up. I got this um, the ratcheting um, side on here and then I loop this around on top of the muffler and go back here. See the hook here? So now I'm gonna go ahead ratchet this and strap it down. Let's see. So so this one's gonna drop it. That's gonna drop. And you're gonna have, we're gonna create space here. I'm gonna adjust this so if we can see any movement. That it is giving us some space while I'm ratcheting it. So, let's see. Let me lift this up. Let's see if we can see it in action. This is the space we have about like two fingers in there. So while I'm ratcheting it, that should be giving us more space. See that? And then once um you think that's the farthest you can go, once this um exhaust pipe you have touched this. Um, support for the transmission that should be it that's the only way that's the farthest as you can go so I'll go ahead just a little bit more I think that's it for me it's a little bit more gap but that's good enough I think I have a plenty of space to work on Of space to work on now. So now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. Now we're slanting a little bit towards the back. But I'm gonna go ahead remove these bolts, 10 millimeter bolts all over. I'm gonna remove all these. I'm gonna start from the front 
front side of the engine and let it drop and crack open so it will drain the front side and slowly we will drain it all right let's go ahead and prepare with the the pan the drain pan all right let me go ahead and crack this open start from the front side Effort, I was crack, crack open. It does have a re reusable gasket in it, so I'm gonna start in the front. Lose, I'm gonna lose all of them first, then I'm gonna just crack lose it, and the front side will should be able to remove all of them. Side because it's leaning on the back side, even though I wanted to do it on the front, drain in the front, but because gravity always wins. I'm just gonna lose them slowly, loosen them slowly.
too heavy when you remove the whole pack. good enough then let's go ahead remove the whole pan all right I'm gonna go ahead disconnect the last two bolts in the front and drop the whole pan all right so let's go ahead drop the whole pan this back side is still supporting with this pipe so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove these two on the, on the front side two corners that we have we didn't put this way too far in so it should be easy to remove it by our fingers. Alright, you got one out. Support it with one hand. Get the second one out as well. Alright. Then slowly I'm gonna do my because we're gonna lean the forward. I'm gonna move my my drain pan. Let me see. I'm gonna move my drain pan. This one a little bit forward, so if it it can drain more this side. As you can see, slowly. Not, we can just like go ahead pull this out and pick it up just a bit then it'll slide pretty easy all right let's put it all the way down so you can check this out what it looks like so this is our transmission pan and look at the oil it's pretty dirty so what I'm gonna do drain the rest here and check out what it looks like let's drain the rest here we'll see if we see any shavings or anything here once I drain them all, we will make a mess now. This has a magnet. I'm gonna write real quick. So this is the magnet. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Yep. Let me get a closer look. Alright, check out all this metal shaving. Let's get the magnet out. Yep. Let's see if we can see this better. So that's all made of metal shaving that we have in this truck. See that? That's pretty thick. So we're gonna clean this up. Clean the metal. And we're gonna put this back. Clean the pan, make sure it's free of debris. All the shavings, same thing with the magnet and put it back. And we're gonna grab the, um, the, um, the gasket. So I got this pretty much clean out. Get some break clean. Those are metal shaving right there. 
Those are metal shavings so you can see on the side. It's cleaning it. See? Those are the metal shavings. Come on to clean this up. The same thing with the, the gasket. The ga see these? These are reusable gasket. They don't go bad. It has a metal inside. It's still not leaking, so it's good. So we're gonna clean this up. And of course, clean underneath the um, the transmission. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this. Spray another one good. More brake clean and let it dry. So now it's clean, really clean. Same thing on the bottom side. We're gonna clean that too. All right, now we're underneath the car again. See the filter here? We're just gonna pull that down. As you can see here, this should just pull pretty easy. Slowly, a little gasket there. That holds it. If it doesn't come out with the filter, just leave it there. There you go, so that's out. This still have a fluid inside, so I'm gonna drain it to do that. To that, I'm gonna drain it to the drain pan. This one, all you gotta do is clean it up. Clean whatever the new filter is gonna go in. Clean around the surface where the gasket is gonna go in. You got a brake cleaner and clean that up. Might as well clean the one we just have a drip on here. So I'll put a brake clean, brake cleaner on the rag. And just clean around that area. This is still a pretty new car, 2018. So it's pretty clean. There's no in the gasket was left on it or dried melted gasket so this is still pretty good so I'm just gonna clean that up make sure it's dry and then now we're gonna put the new filter back in in a little bit so now all the surface is clean I'm gonna put the new gasket in I mean the new transmission filter this is the part that I didn't have to put new in. It's right down here where the hole goes. Where the go hole goes in. So it goes like that. But um, I felt like it's really tight still in there. So if it's not coming off, it's not loose. If you double check it, just leave it. I will not even replace it. Let me show you if you can see here goes up there and this is the same as this one this one is hard to remove and I don't see that's a problem so I'm not gonna replace that just want to make sure it's clean and dry so now we go ahead push this up this is the new filter we have so it should stop right here see this notch here it should stop there that's you know that's the top of it Put it in here and let's go ahead push that all the way up. That's pretty good. And make sure this is a little line there. There you go. That's it. So that's installed. Now we're gonna go ahead, put the pan inside. Okay, so now we're gonna put everything back. So this is the pan and the gasket can only go one way. So you can see, it should go that way and there will be like a little nipple that goes to that to keep it in place. 
same thing on the other side. So now, once you have that, let me see. There you go. Then we're gonna put it back in. All right. All right. So, and don't forget your magnet should be inside as well. It's located in the little um, dent there. It goes in the middle. So, and prepare for your bolts. So I'm gonna hold at least maybe one bolt or two or three. You can fit in your hand. Then we're gonna slide this slowly here. Slide it. There you go. Then I'm gonna lock down one of the bolt on one corner so it will hold it. Same to the other corner. You can start it here too if you like to. And then go to the other side. So then now in, in place, and I'm going to go ahead and put all the bolts by hand, all of them. Alright, so now i put all the bolts by hand, as you can see they're still moving. And make sure the nipple is still on that right hole, same thing on the back side. Then I'm going to go ahead and tight them. I'm going to start from the middle and crisscross it from the middle and the other side of the middle then towards out x y cross crisscrossing and then we're gonna torque it after we tight it to torque them down all right so once everything is torqued down i clean it up here with the brake brake cleaning because um there's a bunch of oil in it so it won't smoke when you start the car then move this ratchet everything's torqued move the ratchet Go. That's it. Then we're about to fill it with um, the fluid on top, transmission fluid. So let's get it go. And let's go ahead and uh, drop the whole truck. All right, now we're on top of the engine and then under the hood. We're gonna look for a transmission dipstick. On the pad, on the driver's side, there's the one with the yellow in it. Dipstick, that's for the oil, and the one on the passenger side, which is this one, and this is for your transmission. So you can see, yeah, that, that sign here. And also, if you put it in, it's like clean it up, right? Because there's no filter in, and there's no fuel, fluid inside, it should be dry. You don't know it. back out and you'll see there's no fluid in there because it's empty so this one takes about I think it's between four and a half to five maybe six a little over five gallon so let's put um, a funnel here and so we're using the AC Delco 8886518 also known as 10-9244 so we, we're gonna pour this whole thing here and then we're gonna start the car run it put it in the gears so it'll go to the system and then we're gonna check it again if it's if it's um it's still in the level Up. And we 
we're gonna slowly pour this in here. this one is like pure red so I'm gonna pour the whole thing and then we're gonna measure it if it's how what's the level right now we're gonna measure it before we start it and after we start it too fast to start dripping here so make sure you put it slowly there you go so that that's full and we're gonna measure it Cool. Let's go ahead and start it and see how much we'll take it in there. All right. So I capped that off for the transmission dipstick, and then let's go ahead and start the truck. I'm just gonna start it and put it in gears. I'm not, I'm not gonna do any crazy. So let's start it. Put them, put them brake, put it in reverse, put it in neutral, drive, low, we're going to do that a couple times, reverse, let me see, go reverse, new drive, so not moving the truck, and low. I'm gonna do that a couple times. Now I'm going back to park again. Let it drive. I'm steering just a little bit. I can go reverse if you want, just a tad bit. And drive. And drive. Low. Let's do it again. You could do this for like a couple minutes, five minutes if you like to, until the, all the fluid goes to the system. There you go. You, ju you just want the transmission to be engaged. That's pretty much it. So we're so in drop reverse. It's moving right now. Drive, reverse, drive, low, there you go. And then we're going to check the fluid again. Alright, should be enough. I'm gonna check the fluid again. All right, we're back under the hood again. Let's go ahead, remove the dipstick for the transmission fluid. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down real quick. Then let's go ahead and measure it one more time. All 
all right and our measurements is a little bit low hmm. a little bit above cold let me do it again I'll do it one more time make sure but sometimes because we pour the fluid right here in a dipstick it's still in the in the tube so can't really read it properly so right now we are below right by the cold area so I'm gonna put a little bit more maybe half a quart or a quart then that should be enough so that's it guys I'm, it's right on below I can see it right by let me see the cold and hot is right below the cold so I'm, I'm gonna put like about half a quart to a quart and that should be it hopefully that save our transmission or torque converter for this this is notorious for that it overheats so my advice for this is to put a external transmission cooler right in front by the radiator if it doesn't have it so this truck will last longer all right guys i hope you like the video so this is the um, transmission fluid flush drain fill um, replacing the fluid as well for this um, 2018 Chevy Silverado 1500 this is a two-wheel drive only all right guys thank you for watching to the next video don't forget to like and subscribe